The Bug Barrier Tree Ban by Environmetric Systems is a radically different patented design with an inward facing dry adhesive. And it works. The makeshift products like burlap and sticky tar paper have failed. Oh, Dad, it's stuck to the tree again. The Bug Barrier Tree Ban has been proven effective against fall canker worm in Charlotte, North Carolina where workers here are installing it on a tree to trap female adults as they climb up the tree to lay their eggs. This is a band full of cankerworms. In Charlotte, the band on one tree trapped 9,500 bugs, and each one carries 100 to 200 eggs. This means that one tree alone escaped the attack of more than a million voracious cankerworm caterpillars. The USDA tested the bug barrier tree ban against the dreaded gypsy moth and declared that no other type of barrier has been shown to be more effective. It stops larvae from getting back into the tree. The bug barrier tree ban is a turnkey product. Everything you need is right here in the package. The only tools you need are a utility knife and a putty knife for the trees with deep bark crevices. The bug barrier tree band is easy to install, and once it's installed, there's no maintenance required. Two layers of bug barrier fiber are wrapped around the tree. A strip of bug barrier film is then cut into the same length as the distance around the fiber. The protective wrapping is removed as the film is wrapped snugly around the tree cinching it down snugly to the fiber, making sure the film hangs down below the fiber and extends out an inch and a half from the tree. This area is where the cankerworms get trapped and the gypsy moth is stopped. As you snug down the film, there will appear to be some left over. That's important because this overlap creates the snug fit that keeps the fiber in the bark crevices and holds the band to the tree. So you won't injure the tree with staples or nails. Gypsy moth need a bridge so they can get down the tree, only to be stopped on the way back up. Environmetrics offers a special gypsy moth wrap to be used with the bug barrier tree band. The band is applied the same way that we demonstrated for the cankerworm. Then you just start applying the gypsy moth wrap at the upper edge of the bug barrier tree band, making sure the wrap covers both the film and the fiber. Continue applying five or six wraps as you move upward from the band. This forms a ramp between the top of the bug barrier tree band and the tree bark. The gypsy moth wrap should be wrapped tightly, but not so tightly that it deforms the bug barrier tree band. Cut the wrap and the end will cling to the barrier on its own. While the bug barrier tree band isn't dependent on weather, it should be removed at the end of a season and replaced before the next season. In spring, the cankerworm hatches from eggs laid on small twigs in the crown of trees. The larvae immediately begin eating leaves, and their feast continues through summer. This is your first sign that a tree is infested and should be banded. In the fall for fall cankerworm, or the following spring for spring cankerworm. When it is time to pupate, they either crawl down the tree or let themselves down on silk threads that they spin. After pupating in the ground, adult fall cankerworms emerge near the time of the first frost, mate, 
and then the flightless females begin crawling up the tree and run into the fiber layer of the bug barrier tree band. Unable to go through the fiber, she turns toward the light and gets caught on the adhesive. Spring cankerworms emerge and begin climbing in the spring. Gypsy moth, on the other hand, may be stopped at two stages of their life cycles. They hatch in the canopy or wherever eggs are laid. If they don't hatch in the canopy, they have to climb into the canopy. This is one opportunity for the bugberry tree band to stop them. In their later stages of development, or in stars, gypsy moth larvae may climb up and down the tree every day. This is a second opportunity. The band will stop them as they climb back into the tree, preventing them from returning to their food source and interrupting their life cycle. So you should install the bug barrier tree band on infested trees, and as a precaution, on trees near infested trees or near those that were infested last year. You can also get more information by visiting Environmetric Systems' website, www.envirometrics.ca or call Commercial Sales Manager Brian Pancoast at 800-379-9677. His email address is bpancoast at environmentrics.ca.